all I'm black with Yaya thank you so much for tuning into this video this is going to be a very quick video and quite random because I'm going to answer a question that I get a lot or people try to figure it out and it's about what exactly do I practice because with me talking about the Orisha you guys know I'm not initiated and you guys know I constantly say I am a student of spirituality I love all things spiritual and I do not want to limit my myself to one practice so just to walk you through what happens when I'm doing my rituals doing my crafting and workings in general so first things first I feel like a big mixed conception when it comes to spirituality spell work hoodoo voodoo or whatever is that you're just sitting around doing spells all day every day and I feel that if you're attending to your altar your spirit guides, your ancestors, taking care of them. There really shouldn't be a need for you to do spells every day unless you're just a person that does spells for other people. So you have to keep that up. But I'm not familiar with anyone who's just in spirituality, no matter what they practice, sitting around doing spells all day. And if you try to fix everything with a spell, I feel like that's just, you need to balance your spiritual and your physical world because a lot of things can be resolved in a physical sense. That's why it's important to take care of your physical being and your spiritual being and not think that, oh Lord, she talked about me. Let me put a spell on her. Oh God, my car broke down. Let me put a spell on it. Like some things is like, just take your car to the shop sit down and talk with her to figure out why y'all having conflict. A lot of things can be solved in just a regular old physical sense. But there are times where are people who want to just take everything and just put it on the altar, put it on the altar, put it on the altar and constantly using that energy. In general, y'all know I am a Gula Geechee girl down to the root, okay? So if I had to tie it to one thing, it would be root work. Just because I feel like that is more... In a traditional sense, it can be passed down to you. It may not have a fancy name for it. It's just like, this is what my grandma used to do. This is what my mama used to do. Or some things just naturally come to you. For me, I just, you know, with my spirit, guys, I hear them in my head saying, okay, you need to do this. Add this. Put this, this, and this together. And I can't count it to hoodoo or voodoo or Efa, because I know I don't practice that specifically. I just consider it root work. It's traveled down through the roots of my ancestral tree. It's like I just hear things to do and I do it. So if I had to put a title on it, it would be root work. But I just always just be like, I'm spiritual. What do you practice? I'm just spiritual. I don't tie myself to one title just because I feel like with a lot of things I do, sometimes I don't even know where the information comes from when it comes to my crafting. Like, for example, with my crystal dry rub, it was just literally get this because this, get this because this, mix that with this, now add this, now mix it together, now sit into some of this and that. My spirit guides were telling me that. I didn't know that information off the top of my head, but it naturally came to me through meditation, through connecting with my spirit guides, taking care of my altars and all that stuff. I feel like when it comes to spirituality, just in my opinion, depending on who you are, you don't necessarily have to tie your teachings and rituals and practices down to one thing you don't have to put a title on it you're spiritual in general like whatever you do is spiritual no matter how you dress it up or wrap it in a bow and but i feel that if you are like hey i want to learn about this i need book teachings i need someone to be like a b and c i need a group of people that we practice the same thing i need to be a part of a house do what fits best for you but i know with me as long as i meditate i have my dreams that communicate with me i take care of my altars i know the information and the downloads will consistently come to me i just don't necessarily put it on i practice this i am a spiritual witch i do what feels good to me and what comes to me and i like having that freedom because i feel like it really makes me trust my intuition and know that i'm not just sitting up here talking to myself because when i do it i see that it works i see how it makes me feel i see how it comes to pass and all that stuff it really helps me and makes me focus on my inner voice the voice of my spirit guides the voice of yamaya like all the people who communicate with me the doing this doing it this way for me really helps me just enhance my self-trust and know that I'm guiding myself correctly because I feel that just going back and thinking about the people in my family who did it in private they didn't say oh I practice voodoo or I practice hoodoo it was like this is just I don't know girl do it like that that is just it just works they did this is what we do and for me, I know if I were to sit down and interview every single ancestor I have, it wouldn't be, oh, hoodoo or voodoo. It was like, 
we did this because it worked. My grandma and them did it. So I would just say root work if I had to put a title on it because root work can be translated and just shifted into different things depending on the family. Like you may have things that's passed down to the Johnson family and they just do it because the OG grandma did it or if you have the Fre the Fredericks family they may do the same thing but a little bit different because that's how it was passed down to them I feel like it's really unique to each individual and each ancestral tree of how those teachings are passed down with each generation they add their own twist to it because they may know something that'll enhance whatever they're doing or they know what will bring prosperity or they get the inkling to add another crystal to it because they just learn about like it could just be crafted into what works for them for them to pass it down also like i said in my last video when it comes to root work, voodoo work, hoodoo work, whatever you do, don't tell nobody. Do your work in private so you can really listen to yourself, listen to your spirit guides, listen to what you're doing, pay attention to what you're doing without outside sources. I say this a lot, but this is going to play a major role in the outcome and just the confidence that you have in what you do. Don't tell nobody. Anything that I do, granted I'm not up here putting people in boxes and stuff, but anything that I do, no matter how good of a spell it is, I tell no one. And I'm not talking about, oh, I just told this one person, I told this one person, or they know. I tell no one. Keep it to yourself. That's your special gift. All things, like, just keep it to yourself. I'll link that video down below why you should keep it to yourself. When you're taking care of your altars and all of a sudden you have a taste for certain food, you don't want it, but your altar want it. So get in there, get the cooking. Like, those type of feelings, it's just natural spiritual feelings. Feeling. like I can't tie it down to one practice besides root work because that's more flexible in general and it can be different for each individual it's not rules and regulations because each family each person and each generation may add to it or just make it a little different to fit them but thank you guys so much for tuning into this video like I always say as above so below as within so without as the universe of the soul until next time Thank you, Gigi. Yeah, 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 y